Hey y'all, I, Rick Sky here, and I want to talk about AR coating, anti-reflective coating, versus a timepiece that does not have anti-reflective coating. So, this right here, this is a Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2 in 42 millimeters. And you're going to see as I move it around the light here, uh, this has AR coating, anti-reflective coating applied. So you can see how the light hits differently than what we're about to look at. Now, keep in mind, the most current reference Submariner has AR coating. This is the previous reference Submariner, the 114060. This does not have AR coating, anti-reflective coating. So, you know, just a different, a different look. So you can see as I move it around with the light and all that, what AR coating, anti-reflective coating does, it changes the way that a dial looks the way that it handles light. You may like AR coating. You may dislike AR coating. You know, I'm not here to try to tell you, hey man, you need to get AR coating or you don't, because I could care less. I really could care less. Um, I will say that most of your Brightlings are probably gonna have AR anti-reflective coating. Uh, this video is in 4K Ultra HD, so if you have a compatible display, crank it up and watch it in its full glory, man, all the detail. But, yeah, I mean, it's just, it, it's, it's a matter of your, you know, personal preference. And, and I don't, I don't want to say one is better than the other. I think, personally, if I was given the option of no AR coating, I'd probably go with that. Now, the reason being is that over time, if you wear your watches like they're meant to be worn, you will probably notice, and, and other people probably won't even tell, but you will probably notice, being the owner and the wearer, you'll probably notice some subtle scratches in the AR coating that's on top of your sapphire crystal. So, you know, from that perspective, AR coating may be less desirable. But, again, it, it provides value when you look at the dial of the Breitling versus, say, the Submariner. Both are highly legible, but in, in varying light, you know, that anti-reflective coating, so you can see there, that light in the ceiling, see how it handles that? And see how it handles that? It's like, whoa, dude. It's like, man, you got to get some AR coating. And the Submariner's like, man, you got to check out the most current reference, dude. It does have AR coating. That's right. The new uh, 41 millimeter Submariner does have anti-reflective coating. And correct me if I'm wrong, but is that the first Submariner that's ever had AR coating? Comment below and tell me. But yeah, both of these look... Uh, Look great. Whoa! Oh, sneeze. I scared y'all, didn't I? But I didn't scratch the AR coating. So, yeah. Yeah, just something to be aware of. Tell me what you think within the comment section below. Again, I'm not trying to steer you. I'm not trying to make you pro AR coating or anti AR coating. I could personally care less what you think about AR coating. Now, I, could care, I do care what you think about the video. So, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel share this video with others, and uh, ring that bell icon when you do, and that'll notify you whenever I post another video. And check out all the other Time Pieces for Tomorrow videos. Just go to timepiecesfortomorrow.com, and you can find them all there. And if you have any video suggestions for future videos, comment below, man. I'm trying to find as many topics as I can address. Again, my, my thing here is just you know, honest wristwatch related content. You know, I don't want to sugarcoat anything. I just tell you what I think. You know, I'm not a horological genius. I don't claim to be, but I like filming videos. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.